Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you need IT consulting, go to willyhow.com, fill out the contact form, click hire us, get us that information, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. If you'd like to support the channel, all of our affiliate links and programs are down below. It is much appreciated. What we're going to talk about today is the new user interface with Unify. I know we're on this theme, right? But we're going to talk about moving devices from site to site in a multi-site environment in the new UI. So here I am uh, at my controller. And if we go over to devices, you can see I've got a uh, Unify Switch 8 PoE and I've got the next gen gateway. And this is the new UI. And when I click on a device and I go to settings and I go to manage, there is nothing here that gives us the option to move the device. And I've seen this asked a lot. So I asked Ubiquity, Ubiquity directly. And as of yesterday, that would have been Thursday, May 26, 2022, I had my answer. The only way to get that option back right now is to flip back to the old user interface. So that is one thing that is still there. And I don't know if or when it's going to show up in the new controller. I got to imagine it's it's on the track, right? I mean, a lot of other things have moved. So to get to that, um, you know, device move option, we're going to go into settings. We're going to go into system. We are going to enable the legacy interface. It's the legacy interface, not the old UI. The legacy interface. And we're going to let it reload here. And once it does that, we are going to go over to our devices. We're going to go to our switch. Go to config, go down to manage device. And now I have the option to move this to my lab USG pro or lab USG three site. So I can do that or I can forget it. And that is the only way to do it currently. Like I said, I got that directly from Ubiquity. So once you've moved your devices, then you can go back into settings and user interface and enable the new user interface. So it is called the new user interface and the legacy interface. But that's it. If you've got any more questions, let me know. I got plenty more of these videos that we're going to pump out. Put your questions, comments down below and we will answer them. And once again, if you need that IT consulting, willyhow.com. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment and share. Please follow me on Twitter and TikTok. Those links are down below along with all the other links we talked about earlier. Once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.